Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the infrared receiver known as KY022. This is the module itself, so let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSM, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy, they can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board an infrared receiver, one resistor, and one LED. The resistor used in this module is 1 kilo ohm and the main reason for using the resistor is to limit current circulating inside the module, in other words to prevent current from burning our module. The LED lights up every time that the module gets an infrared signal. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself, and of course the resistor R1 and the LED L1. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in red the flow of the voltage, we have in black the flow of the ground, and of course we have in green the flow of the signal. The work that this module has is to receive infrared signals that are transmitted by different infrared transmitters that's why we use this module together with an infrared transmitter module known as KY005. This sensor can receive infrared signals from a source that is away at 8 meters max. After receiving the infrared signal the sensor will encode and amplify the signal received to be suitable for transmitting via low voltage wiring. This module has a frequency of 38 kHz and use an encoder called NEC. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with a minus sign the voltage pin is in the middle and of course we have the pin of the signal with the S sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives a digital signal so we can connect the pins of the signal with any digital ports of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today, if you like the video hit that like button, if you want more videos like this one hit that subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video, we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription, don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.